Alright, now I'm recording. I don't know that I was recording before. Are you still there? Yep. Yeah, I don't know why. It just automatically timed out and shut off, but... We are on Blackjack Road out of uh, Galena, Illinois, headed to... Well, I guess it would be Savannah is the town that's at the end of this run, I think. It's about... Would you would you figure like 30, 40 miles of this? Uh, once we get to the start of it, we're not at the start of it yet. It'll be 56 miles. I oh, think wow. we have at least 20 to get there. Nice. So this is just like the beginning piece. Oh, that's cool. The Sears robot. I love the Midwest. Yeah. So you're rolling on a 2012 Ultra Glide Classic, you said? Yep. And it's pretty much all stock except for the hand <laughs> handlebars? Yep. Yeah, handlebars and grips, other than that, it's all stock. It, it, well, it does have Screaming Eagle pipes. Okay. Uh, I noticed that. I don't think there's any other mods. Yeah, because it's, it's a slow piece of shit. <laughs> it's a 103, right? Yep. That'll get you from point A to point B in yep. comfort. You like the seat then? or? Uh, the seat's not bad. You know, it, it took about 250 miles for it to start aching. Right. That's normal. Yeah. I was kind of doing some butt flexes. Right. Trying to hump my seat. Yeah. You know, to try to help yep. a little bit, but it's so hard when you're, you can't stand. Right. Yeah, that was the one thing when, when we were on those Harleys that I... You can stand. You look oh. like you're getting oh, yeah, anally like, rigged, you know, but... But I really gotta <laughs> straddle the fucking <laughs> right. <thing. laughs> it's like riding a horse. Right. Yeah, I... I could not ride a bike without being able to stand. That's why I'll never have a Harley. Yeah. The brakes on this thing, they're, they're horrible. Really? Yep. Well, that's too bad. Yeah. They're just not powerful enough? They're not powerful enough. Well, if you grab the front too hard, it'll just jam the suspension down. <laughs> and then, you know, there's only one brake, I think, so it, it kind of pulls off to one side a little bit. Right. The rear brake, you know, works pretty decent, but I always forget to grab it. I'm always right. trying to grab that front. And it's in a really bad location, too, isn't it? It's, like, yeah. hard to get your foot up there in a hurry. Yeah. It's not a natural place for your foot to like rest. Nope. Yeah, we noticed that too, but Justin thought that the uh, front brake, or no, I think the rear brake also applies pressure to the front brake. So when you hit the, the pedal with your right foot, he was thinking it actually hits the front brake as well. I could, yeah. It's a combined brake. But if that were the case, you think that would be the same for the front brake lever as well, you know, like it applies some rear. Mine is combined. Yeah. Do some yoga later? Yep. Oh, I see you there. No, you're fine. I'm just doing a baby wheelie. <laughs> well, I got 514 miles on her, so another 100 miles and I'm green light. Nice. So, did you, did you bring some oil then, or what are you going to do? No, I, uh, I figure we'll 
we should probably uh, find some place today, you know, okay. that has like a KTM dealer in Chicago or whatever, because that'll be about right. And I'll just do it in the parking garage. Yep. Just get like an ice cream pail or something. Yeah, like zero suspension. I feel bad for you. Yeah, it's just it's yeah. so bad. It's just on the uh, gravel right here. Just unnatural to fucking turn in this thing, right? <laughs> it does not like to turn. And, and it was funny listening to that guy because he said it perfectly. I mean, Harleys are made to go straight. They're good at everything in a straight line. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're not made to turn. Well, got some loose gravel up here. Better than tight. Yeah, it says we only have 32 miles to Mount Carroll. Oh, no shit? Yeah. Wow, well, this either we're on, we're on the wrong road or... Oh, really? Could be. This is a pretty sweet road, though. This is, yeah. No, this isn't bad at all. Uh, this definitely looks like the right road. I mean... Now I got some gravel here. Dude, what are you guys doing? I, uh, one of my favorite features of the bike is the quick shifter. So, when you, you don't need to use the clutch at all, up and down. It automatically blips the motor to match the RPM that it needs. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Well, it's even nice, like, even if I am using the clutch, if I only pull it in with like two fingers, say, and you don't get it all the way to the handlebar, it, it still blips the motor for you, which it just makes the shifts like butter smooth, you know? That is awesome. That was 554 dollars for the travel pack. So that, it got oh, you. Yeah. It got you the quick shifter, hill hold control, um, and then like motor slip regulation or something, MSR. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was 554. Like, eh, probably could just include that. But, but again, that's what they used to do when, when Justin bought his. It was included, but, you know, then now they just, it's probably... It probably is more of a revenue generator for them now because everyone buys it, you know? Right. Woo! Loose gravel there, dude. Yeah. I'm gonna slow down. You go ahead. Oh, I'm all good. Alright. Uh, yeah, this is fucking. <laughs> Straight line, yep, get her while it's got. <laughs> <laughs> okay, slow down. Yeah. <laughs> it like totally defeats the purpose of a bike. I don't understand it. <laughs> right? I mean, general corner stuff, they're not bad. But sharp stuff, right? You know. That's a nice bike, though. Yeah. Generally, it, it rides very well. It's just when you hit bigger bumps, it's a little hard. Right. Yeah, that was. I mean, that and not being able to stand up were basically my two complaints about it. I liked everything else about it. You know. Yep. Yeah, lack of power. That was uninspiring. But yeah, you could deal with that though. You know? Yeah. It. It still has a cool factor, like the power delivery, you know, it's very smooth and controlled, you know? Yep. Or just low horsepower. It doesn't have like a particular power band or anything. Yeah, it's just all the same. It's kind of boring, you know? 
Yeah, there's no like blow your skirt up factor at all. Unless you did that Screaming Eagle thing, then there probably would be, but but still a 900 pound bike. Still a 900 pound bike makes it even a little bit more dangerous. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to turn and stop a 900 pound object yep. on two wheels. The thing really performs really well on the interstate. That's where it was made for, yeah. Yep. You can pass a semi with no worrying about the wind. Right. You know, hitting you. I know, I feel like Steven in the corners here. Right. Like all nervous, Nelly. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. like oh, oh yeah. shit. Oh, that's gonna do. <laughs> like that. It's so bad. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, like the little 400 man would carve this shit right oh, out. Oh, yeah, you'd be doing 90. So, needless to say, you would never pay money for one of those machines. Nope. Wouldn't. No, no, you couldn't. You couldn't give me one. I mean, I, I don't think I would ride it. Yeah, you don't want to ride it in town or. Not you know. even. No, <laughs> I don't think I would ride it there either. I don't know. I, I just it, it really it really blows my mind because you see so many of them. I know. And I have they never tried anything. <laughs> This is all they know. Like, this is a motorcycle. It doesn't have to be that way. I rode a, uh, like a 1200 mule, I forget what the name of them are, but, you know, that wasn't so bad. You know, it sounds like a Harley, but, you know, rides more like a sport.